In the next few minutes, I'm gonna share with you four different ways that you can offer SEO as a paid service to your clients without having any previous SEO knowledge or experience. These are really easy methods that you can implement starting today to start offering SEO and getting recurring revenue for your business. Now, certainly the more you know about SEO, you're going to be able to increase your rates and charge more. But for now, what I show you in this video is more than enough to start charging at least $500 per month per client, if not more. Now with that said, the traditional way to offer SEO or really any service is to know it, understand it, and do it all yourself. So for SEO, that would mean you need to understand SEO theory, you need to understand on-page SEO and technical SEO and backlinks and content and linking structure and all of these different things. And those will come with time, but for now, what I would recommend, and this is the first option, is to go download a free SEO checklist online and just go through these tasks step by step. I'm going to link a couple different free checklists down in the description, but each of these are going to give you everything you need to at least get started. And so at this point, you're not really selling SEO expertise as much as you're just selling your time to go through these checklists. So there's a checklist by Ahrefs, there's one by SEMrush, and then there's one that I've created. Again, all of these are free and they're going to put you off to a really great start optimizing your client's websites. Now, the second option that you have is using an SEO tool that does a lot of the hard work for you. So if you have a client that has a website on WordPress, you can use a plugin like Yoast, which is going to walk you through step by step, helping you optimize each page, helping you pick a keyword, and getting those pages to rank on search engines. Now, if you have a client website that's built on Webflow, you can use my tool, which is called Semflow. And again, that's going to walk you through step by step. It's going to show you the overall SEO score, which pages need optimized, and exactly what you need to do to put your client's site in a position to rank well on Google. Down in the description, I'm also going to list a bunch of other tools that are done for you type tools that are going to make SEO way, way easier. And the nice part is whether it's with the checklist or with these SEO tools, if you ever run into anything that you don't know, you can just Google it. And so along the way, you're going to be learning SEO and learning how it works and how to get results while still getting paid by your clients. Okay, so before we talk about the next two ideas, I wanna pause and just remind you that all of this really boils down to being able to get results for your clients. We're not looking for ways to swindle or trick clients into paying us for SEO when we don't know anything. We need to make sure that we're doing the right things to get results. And so in the first two options, you're just following a checklist step by step. And as you do this, you should see the results coming to your clients' websites in terms of traffic, in terms of leads and sales. And if you're not, your client is going to fire you. So focus on the satisfaction of your clients and they're going to keep you around. So this leads us to the third option, which is white labeling SEO services, or in other words, outsourcing them to somebody else that really knows what they're doing. So there are actually a bunch of companies and agencies out there that do this. A couple that I think you can really trust are Hoth, Boostability and Fat Joe. You can just go to their websites, outsource your project, and what they typically do is have some sort of set rate. So let's say you land a client that's paying you $1,000 per month, you're gonna be able to reach out to one of these companies and most likely they're going to be able to do all of the SEO work for about $500 per month. So in this case, you get a 50% margin and you have the assurance that the SEO work is being done properly and that you're going to be getting great results for your clients. And so don't just think that this is going to be zero work for you and you're going to make all this money, but instead you need to make sure that you are interacting with your client and making sure that they're having a great experience. Okay, now the fourth and final option that you have is hiring your own internal SEO team. This is actually the option that I chose to take and I'm so glad that I did. This happened years and years ago. I was doing all of the SEO work myself, and at the time, I didn't really know what I was doing, and so I don't feel like I was providing the absolute best results for my clients, even though I was trying. And so I found this individual who knew SEO much better than I did. He really understood the whole campaign process. He knew how to get results. And so what I did is I brought him in and what I said is we will split this 50-50. So anytime I hire a client for $4,000 per month, I'm paying my internal SEO team about $2,000 per month to do all of the work. I handle the go-between, so I'm doing all the communication and the reporting. And by doing it this way, everybody wins. I'm able to get great results. 
My margins are really high. I still get to communicate and work with my clients, but the client is always really satisfied with the work that they're getting. Now you might be hesitant to outsource or hire an internal SEO team, but the nice part is, is you don't have to pay these people a salary. All you need to do is offer them a percentage of the monthly SEO spend, and then you can work in your margins. So you get paid, they get paid, and you can do enough great work for the client that they keep you around forever. So if you are a designer or an agency owner that doesn't know SEO but wants to start offering this as a service, don't be shy. Don't feel like an imposter because by following these four steps, you're going to be able to get great results for your clients. So if you have any questions about offering SEO for your clients, drop them down in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one.